Hey y'all, it's Ashley from AskAshley.life and this is for my sugar sandbox fans. And uh, I was looking through my fridge trying to figure out how I could cut some extra sugar out of my diet, some of that processed added sugar. And um, if you've never looked at the labels of your condiments, just, you should, you should. So what I've done is I've pulled four of them that seem innocent enough that are not innocent at all. They're evil. So I've also taken the liberty of measuring some of them out to give you a little bit of a reality check of what that means. Now, I left myself some cue notes on the backs of those glasses, so just bear with me, okay? All right, so our first offender, ketchup. It's fat free, what's the problem? So let's talk about ketchup. This, if you can see that, okay, is your recommended one serving. Now, in this, you have only 20 calories and it's fat free, that's fantastic, right? Let's talk about what one tablespoon, which happens to be 17 grams of ketchup. Again, that's this little teeny tiny amount. You have five grams of sugar in that and four grams of that is added. Now, here's the other challenge about ketchup. It's 190 milligrams of sodium. That's a lot. Now, I am not a nutritionist. I am a researcher and I'm a sharer. That's what I do. So, little bitty amount. Now let's have a reality check, shall we? Because we all know that when we get our big, huge, heaping pile of French fries, we don't have this much. Ooh. We have this much. This is more realistic, isn't it? I mean, I know I have small hands, but um, it's a lot of ketchup no matter who you are. So in this particular pile of red yumminess, you have um, 96 grams, which is almost six tablespoons. That's six servings of what's recommended. That means that it's 30, I'm gonna repeat, three zero grams of sugar with 24 grams of that added and 1140 milligrams of sodium. Folks, that's almost your whole, that's, it's half, that's half of your day. No, 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 it's two thirds of your sodium intake for the day, depending on where you read which could vary. So, ketchup, not so innocent. Next, some good old fashioned, we're in the South, we like our BBQ. We love our sauce, it tastes yummy, and we put it on a lot of different things. Pretty innocent. It is fat free, that means it's amazing. Um, only 50 calories, right? That's not too bad, that's just a nice little cheat. Two tablespoons, 36 grams, that's what this looks like. Okay, just a little bit there, not too much. It's not enough for a rib, that's for sure. 13 grams of sugar, 10 of that is added. Now here's the concerning part about this teeny tiny little bit of um, barbecue sauce. 310 milligrams of sodium. It's a lot. Now. This is a serving. Welcome to reality, right? We would sometimes change up our ketchup for our barbecue sauce and we dip our fries in that. So here's the reality of this one. Only 100 calories, still fat free. Four tablespoons, it has 26 grams of sugar, uh, 20 of that being added and almost 700 milligrams of sodium. So, you have a set of barbecue ribs, that's this. You have a basket of fries, that's this. You're looking at 56 grams of sugar and you're looking at 1,840 milligrams of sodium, which is almost your daily intake allowed. So just something to think about. Next, breakfast, it's the best meal of the day, right? Excuse me, we've got some syrup. It's best on pancakes, it's best on waffles, it's best on bacon, it's best on everything. So here we have a regular serving of syrup. So you have 260 calories, you have four tablespoons of syrup, 60 milliliters, 
67 grams of sugar. This is equivalent to one of those little cups you get when you go to IHOP or wherever you like to go get your sugar on. Um, 61 grams of added sugar. So this is not naturally sweet syrup. It's kind of crummy syrup. But um, this is one little uh, cup of syrup. Or maybe you like to go to McDonald's and get those, or Burger King? Burger King, and get those French toast sticks. Yeah, that's one of those. Um, this is probably more like reality, right? I mean, you've got to have lots of syrup on your pancakes, and you've got to have multiple sets of pancakes, right? So 520 calories, eight tablespoons, about 120 milliliters, 134 grams of sugar, 122 of that added. That is for men approximately three times what you should be consuming of added sugar. And that's at the max. It's not that you should be consuming added sugar. It's just if that's what we could assume we would, or consume, we would be better off. Now, those of you that are cutting sugar out of your diet, I am sure that you're thinking, well, I'll have some sugar-free ice cream and I'm gonna cheat with a little bit of um, syrup. So you drizzle a little bit on your syrup and, or a little on your ice cream and you're thinking, that was a good day. I am making better choices. Let's talk about this little bit of syrup. A little bit, a little bit. So 100 calories, still fat-free. Two tablespoons, 23 grams of sugar. 23 of it added, so 100% sugar added. Um, reality check. This, this is more realistic, right? This is pretty realistic. 46 grams of sugar and um, 46 grams of added sugar. So what to do? Because we've got to dip our fries in something. We've got to have our meat in something. We've got to add, 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 add. Now, this does not take care of the chocolate syrup dilemma. And this doesn't take care of the waffle dilemma. But the fry dipping dilemma, see this whole bottle of mustard? No calories, no fat, no sugar. You can have the whole bottle, no sugar. Now, you do have to watch your sodium intake as there's 60 milligrams of sodium. So, read your labels, ditch these, and uh, oh, my, uh, my marketing advisor would be very disappointed if I didn't add this in there. So Angie, this is for you. Um, if you like some of this content, please subscribe and like and share and help me get out there. I appreciate you. Stay curious, stay kind. Until next time.